Yo, what's going on guys, Mr. Els here and welcome back to an another guide on how to install games from Hoyo Play Launcher on Linux. And also run these games using the XXMI Launcher, which is now available as a portable version that works on Linux. By the end of this video you will be able to run Genshin Impact, Zenless Sound Zero and Honkai Star Rail with mods. Quick note, Honkai Star Rail might require additional steps since it's not fully functional on Linux yet, but don't worry, I'll provide everything you will need to give it a shot. Now for the guide itself, there will be two of those. This one focuses on setting up bottles and the other one will be for Lutris. This guide is quick and intended for users who want to get up and running as, as fast as possible. The Lutris guide will be more detailed and will also cover setups for Linux consoles like the Steam Deck and other immutable distributions. This guide will be linked in the description below. If you encounter any issues during the setup, feel free to join our modding Discord server and we'll try to help you out. Some important notes, before we begin, we will be not providing any support for game installations done via third-party launchers or the Hoyo Play installation through Steam. Modding on these setups has been increasingly challenging in the past, so we are focusing on bottles and looters, which is the most preferable way to run Windows games on Linux. So, let's start with the tutorial portion itself. If you don't have already bottles installed, just uh, download it from your terminal or whatever your preferred uh, way is. Once installed, you can open up bottles from your application menu. And go through the setup process. Then click on Start using Bottles. Click on the three dots in the top right corner and select Preferences. Click on Runners. And open up Cron for EK. Now we have the problem that uh, our desired wine version is not available here. We need at least wine version 10.0, so we'll need to download it manually. Go to this link, will be provided in the video's description and download the Wine 10.0 release. It should be the staging branch. To install it, we close out of this and open up a new file explorer and go to .local, share, bottles and here you should see the folder called runners. We need to copy our downloaded file over here, then extract it. Once extracted it should look like this and we can delete the archive again. Now we can close everything, go back to bottles and now start creating a new bottle. For the name we select HoyoPlay. also select the gaming preset and create the bottle. Once installed we can click on close and open up the container we created just right now. In the Hoyo Play bottle we go to settings then we can change the runner to the one we copied over but since we didn't restart we need to restart first and open up bottles again. Now back in bottles we should have uh, our option now, yes it's here, wine 10.0 and select it. We need to switch VKD3D back to disabled and go back. Now we can proceed with the option to install programs. We need to search for Hoya Play Launcher and then start the installation. Click on custom installation to double check that it's indeed installing in C, program files and how you play. Continue with your install. 
Click on Finish and Launch. The launcher is installed, we can close out of it. Select the bottom option and click on OK. Now you should see how you play launcher listed here in the bottle as a launch option. Launch it again. And install the games you want to play. What's important when you install the game, that you don't change the default path that's presented in here. If everything seems fine, click on Start Installation. After everything is installed, you can try and execute every game one by one. Genshin Impact and Xenason Zero should work without issues, but Honkai Star Rail might crash, and if it does, uh, don't worry, that's expected, we will address it later. Once testing is done, close the launcher, and now is the time to install the XXMI launcher. I'll put the link for the download in the video's description. We will need to go to releases and grab the latest zip package. For now, it's version 1.3.0. In bottles, click again on these three dots and click on Browse Files. Now we need to go to Program Files and create a new folder. We name it XXMI Launcher. Go into that folder and move the zip file into that folder we just created. Now we can double click it and extract those files. We should see the resources and themes folder in here. Once that's done, delete the zip package and close out of both file browsers. Now's the time to add the shortcut to the main bottle. Click on Add Shortcuts, go to Home, dot .local, Share, Bottles, Open Bottles again, Hoyo Play, Drive C, Program Files, then XXMI Launcher, go to Resources, then and there will be the XXMI Launcher.exe. Click on it and click on Add. This will add another shortcut to the XSMI launcher through bottles. We can open it up. Inside of XSMI launcher, select the games you want to mod and proceed with the install of the modding tool itself. Sometimes the program will prompt you to select the game folder manually. For that, click on Change, then go to My Computer and select the C drive. Go to Program Files. Hoyo Play, Games, and select the game you want to play. Now install the modding tool. Do the same thing for the other modern importers. Once everything is installed, you can already try to launch the game and see if the modding tool has loaded. For Honkai Star Rail, if you try launching it, you will see that the game won't start and the launcher crashes. If that's the case, open the launcher again, click on Open Settings, then on Advanced and click on Custom Launch. Now you will need to head to our Discord and check for the Linux support channel. There will be a pinned comment which will provide the necessary command to get the game working. Once you copy the necessary command over, click on confirm and try starting the game. You will see now that the game will start without any issues and with the mod tool loaded. Now is the time to install our mods. Again, click on those three dots, click on Browse Files, then go to Program Files, 
XXMI launcher and choose the appropriate tool you want to mod your game with. Gimi is for Genshin, SRMI is for Star Rail, ZZMI is for Zenazone Zero. Go into that folder, click on mods. Now you'll need to place the extracted mod files into this folder. You can find mods either on Game Banana or through the Discord linked in the description. I downloaded this Nicole mod, which is a RAR file, which we will need to copy over and make sure to extract it. It should look like this. Now we can delete the RAR file and close out of this window and go back to the XXMI launcher. From this point on you can use XXMI launcher to launch games with mods and use Hoyo Play launcher to update your games. Back in XXMI we can select the modding tool we want to use and click on start. Now once we are in a game, we can reload mods with F10 and switch with F6. We can see it's working. Thanks for watching, if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Linux tutorials and modding guides. Join our Discord server for additional support and check the description for useful links. See you in the next one.